Hi, thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two. Art and I are with, dare I use the word fabulous, Bill Jordan. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I just love it. I just, I don't know why. I just, to be called fabulous by you two. You, I you know, know, I, 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 I think it. what we're, we're, we're going to do is uh, fabulous. You know, it's wearing thin a bit, even though it does describe you superbly well, is that I'm going to go to a thesaurus. And I'm going to find out all uh, synonyms for fabulous because I think we should use the uh, a wider net to describe. Oh, sure. I mean, we may, may as well learn a new you word. Are. Yeah. We may as well learn a new word every time we do one of these. That's fine by me. Right. And, and you have my describe, blessing. And, and using adjectives to uh, describe you as beyond fabulous, I think, is something worthy of our time. But <laughs> but I have a question for you because uh, particularly for John and I who are here in Southern California, you know, where it never rains, not true, uh, it does every ten years, uh, and we just we basically have great, uh, uh, and we 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 claim we have seasons, but we really don't. It's just nicer, nicer. Uh, but both of us grew back up in the east, and you're still in the east in uh, yep. the Carolinas. And yep. uh, it, it seems to me that, and there are trips even for people like us that go back east to watch the leaves fall to change oh, in yeah. autumn. So yeah. we don't have any of that. But you have, still have autumn, don't you? Yes, yes. And thank you for referencing it as autumn. I've got friends who prefer the word fall. But as wow. I tell them, when I go in to see the doctor, ain't nobody asking me if I've had any autumns lately. <laughs> so uh, I, I prefer fall, f uh, prefer autumn. Fall is not a good word when you get a little older. So, um, but I, I get their sentiment. I, I am really looking forward to, and this has dawned on me too, and I think it, it came with age because I used to love summer. I mean, all about the summer. I didn't care what the temperature was. I was playing tennis or fishing, playing golf. The temperature did not matter. The temperature this year in the last summer, uh, definitely I don't want to be out in, in it too much. I can't do quite as much yard work as I, I used to be able to do in the heat. Um, so I am looking for it. It was occurred to me because our winters tend to be like last year wasn't a brutal winter here in uh, the Raleigh area of North Carolina. But by the time it gets through February and you get those runs of where like for a week or 10 days, it's raining and 40. I am just I'm chomping at the bit for spring. So spring and fall are the two seasons, autumn are the two seasons that I really look forward to that change. Yeah. So fall, you know, with autumn, man, I'm looking forward to jeans and I'm looking forward to sweaters and sweatshirts and flannel shirts and yeah. football and the smell in the air. The raking of leaves takes me back to when I was a kid and we lived on this large corner, rounded lot, big trees, and I would rake the leaves back in the days, I guess the ordinance allowed you, you could rake them to the curb. Now cars are driving by in close proximity. And I am burning these leaves on the side of the road. Yeah. And I would, it, and it would be a large corner lot. I mean, pretty long area of leaves. And I would light the fire in various places. So I, there was a wall of flame at our, at our yard. And then don't try this at home, boys and girls. But I used to go through the trash cans at home and find like empty deodorant cans or hairspray cans and put them in amongst the leaves. Oh, no. <laughs> and they would blow. No. Now, it wouldn't well, be like not, a... Wait, wait, wait. wait. Like, oh. No. There's a... So, wait so a this, is, wait. this is the dark side. This is a dark no, side. No, this was... No, this was... This, listen, the statute of limitations has, has ended a long time ago. Well, we understand. So, but they went at the seam. It didn't like blow up like a fragmentation grenade. So anyway, it's just a boy being silly. I was just a stupid kid. So anyway, I survived, right? So I'm here. So um, now with the leaves, we either rake them or, or shred them up and put them in the natural area because it's, it's hey, that's uh, God's gift is, uh, is, is free mulch. Yeah. Um, but the autumn itself, man, just the, the cooler temperatures and setting the solo stove, you know, on the deck and burning some logs and sitting out there. It is just refreshing to me. I think that fall or autumn may be my new favorite season, although come next spring, I'm going to say that's my favorite season after going through, uh, through winter. But um, for, for me, autumn, and if I may get uh, a little philosophical, 
Because you guys talk about celebrating Act Two. I talk about the three acts in my book, uh, Embrace the Boom. But if you look at, and a lot of people look at our lives as a year or a se- seasons. So spring yeah. is when we're born and we come to life. And then, you know, into summer, that's when we're growing and really, really developing, flourishing and all that. Sure. But before winter, in our final days, we hit autumn, the autumn of our lives. And it occurred to me, we were, we were riding around in the mountains of, of uh, North Carolina and, uh, and West Virginia a few autumns ago, and the brilliance and the vibrancy of those colors, it's like maybe that's what we're supposed to be. You know, in the autumns of our lives, that's when we should be really getting the attention and people talking about how beautiful they are, yeah. how amazing they are, how they can't, they just love being around them, even though it's before winter. But that's when people really notice. That's when the leaves take your breath away. And I yep. and I do wonder if that might not be related to our life. When we're in this stage of our lives, maybe this is when people should really enjoy being around us. And we, should, and we should maybe be more appreciative of our lives. You hmm. bet. I, be colorful. Enjoy be yourself. Colorful. That's it. A- enjoy yourself. Dare I say, embrace the boom. Ah. Let's do it. Baby boomers, unite. Live your life. Yeah. Forget your age. Embrace the boom, boom and enjoy autumn. Enjoy autumn. I, Bill, I think you're so correct um, philosophically and spiritually that we really, uh, as we get older, Art's, one of Art's favorite sayings is we're getting, we're living longer and we're living healthier. Mm. Um, and that's, that's the autumn of our lives. That's our act two. That's why we celebrate it. That's it. And um, there's so much to be done. We are. We have so much time as retirees these days. I keep finding more and more people creating new businesses, right. starting jobs, sure. sure, volunteering, doing things. It's amazing. It's amazing. That's it. That's it. Yeah, but it, it, I still can't help remembering jumping in a pile of leaves as a yeah, kid. yeah, oh yeah. Before yeah. before you set them on fire. Before you set them on fire, and uh, before I had two dogs running around uh, doing their business in them, so I don't and, directly and, get and, and, myself into them anymore. And before yeah. the, the the garbage disposal companies invented those green top lids to force you to oh, put yeah. them in there, and therefore ruin the the burning of the the, the uh, uh, leaves, uh, and therefore making more money for themselves. So I think there's exactly. a connection this year. I think there's a there's something to that. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.